WTFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien coming to you live from TFNN headquarters in St. Petersburg, Florida. 1 p.m. Eastern time on Tuesday, three hours left to go in the trading day, and we have a mixed market so far. Dow Jones in negative territory, having mostly to do with Boeing getting hit once again. You have the Dow at negative 87 points, trading at 25,563. S&P is positive by 10, trading at 2794. And the NASDAQ positive by 46 points, trading at 7604. Got some action in the dollar index off 239 ticks trading at 96 935 we have some action gold to the top side up seven dollars trading at 12 98 10 and oil up 16 cents trading at 56 95 notes and bonds higher price lower yield 10-year note up five ticks 122 25 30-year bond up 13 ticks trading at 146.01 we'll start it off let's jump over to the futures markets we'll start it off with the dow and why not let's take a look at the boeing chart before we start it off with the dow because and why not there we're at the vix 1380 in that vix how about it as this market just continues higher boeing 372.22, down 7% just today, and right back to where we were at the beginning of the trading day yesterday. We go from about 370, we did spike to 365, finish the day around 400, back down to that 370 range as the problems just continue to come to light for Boeing. So with that in mind, there's your Dow trading at 25,599. For a little context, we made it all the way yesterday, even overnight, to almost 258. So quite a pullback. NASDAQ 100 does not have the impact of the Boeing hit as the Dow. You get the NASDAQ 100 quite a day trading early this morning from 71.90. We're now approaching 60 NASDAQ 100 points above that level trading at 72.45. Quite a day for Apple. We'll jump over to that chart in a moment as well, continuing the run it had yesterday. There's your S&Ps trading at 2,800 on the dot. Gold contract almost made it to 1,300 just prior to the market open. You got gold trading at 12.98.15. Crude oil with some volatility, currently under $57, trading at $56.94. And there's that pound. Talk about some volatility, and why not? We'll finish it out, and we had a couple, I said. So first, Apple. Quite a run on Apple, right? Yesterday, trades higher. Today, continues higher. Still up a percent, even after it's pulling back. And uh, we want to get that pound story. There's your headline. May's Brexit deal in danger. Danger? After a couple days, we'll see Brexit deal coming up tonight. Stay tuned, folks. Steve Rhodes coming up right now at the Trader's Edge. Have a great Tuesday.